let's work an example of adding vectors. Here might be an example where a boat is trying to cross a river, and ordinarily this boat in still water could travel at a speed of three kilometers per hour, but as it's crossing a moving river, the river is flowing downstream at a speed of four kilometers per hour. And if the boat were to try to head straight across the river, it wouldn't succeed because the river would be pushing it downstream. And we could ask, what's the net direction for this boat? And what's its net speed? To do this, we'd be doing the vector addition of the velocity vector for the boat and the velocity vector, vector for the flow of water in the river. So we refer to sometimes the net velocity or the total velocity. which is the boat plus the river. And as always, we need to define a coordinate system for every problem we do. I'm going to put mine so that the y direction goes across the river and the x direction goes along with the river so that we would have to add the x component of the boat and the x component of the river. And the y direction component of the boat. And the y direct component direction of the river. Both adding in the y, direc y hat direction. If I look at these two velocity vectors, the boat is not initially traveling in the x direction. It doesn't. It by itself doesn't travel in the x direction. It's only trying to go in the y direction. So this first term right here is zero, and it's the x direct component of the river that's four kilometers per hour. From the river, that's that's not zero. In the y direction. The river is not moving in the y direction, it's only flowing in the x direction, but the boat is traveling at 3 kilometers per hour. And so this velocity vector is 4 units long in the x direction, 3 in the y. And the magnitude of the net. is the sum of the squares of the two components, which is 5 kilometers per hour. And this boat will be off course by an amount that we can calculate. If that's the angle phi with respect to the x-axis, then the tangent of phi it's always equal to vy over vx. The y component was 3. The x component was 4. And so if the tangent is 3 fourths, this means that phi is about 37 degrees. So it wanted to head off at a direction 90 degrees with respect to the x-axis, in other words, straight up. So it's about 54 degrees off course from that original plan. So it really didn't make it where it wanted to go. <laughs>